。啊！我哎。All right. Hi guys. <laughs> hey yo, how you? How how we doing? How we doing? I um. Well, welcome to the blank page. My name is Victor Rowe. Uh, I'm an author. I'm a writer. I'm a thinker, professional storyteller, or assumed to be professional. And this is a podcast about creativity, about analyzing stories and discussing them, but uh, obviously it's not an actual discussion, you know. You guys can't really talk back as I'm talking to a mic and a camera in an empty room besides myself and maybe my dog uh, that might show up. I want to talk about expectations. I Every episode, I write a little page of topics of hey talk about this hey talk about that hey maybe bring this in and then after every podcast I'll take the second half of that page where I wrote my topics and talking points and things I wanted to discuss and I'll take notes on the actual podcast itself where I'll go this is really good this is really bad don't do this focus on talking like this maybe be a little more animated maybe uh speak clearer try not to do too many ums just things that help with recording and it's definitely helped it's definitely definitely helped um however something a uh, sort of byproduct uh, came out of that, where analyzing too much, I had a non-actual image of what I wanted the show to be in my head. Non-actual meaning I can't define it. I want to be successful. Doesn't mean shit, because you're not saying what you want to be successful at. You're not saying what you want to be successful with, to, You know, you're not defining anything. It's an open statement and it's useless. So what I wanted to do was actually think about what I wanted the show to be. What do I want this show to be? I I wanted it initially just to be this thing that helped me promote my books or my plays or my writing whatever you know and it soon it very quickly became a way for me to discuss the things that I want to talk to people about and the things that I want to go in depth with people about and it became that kind of outlet for me that kind of way to put myself out into the world and share some things that I really want to talk about. Most of the time, it is just stories and plays and deep dives into characters and themes and all that stuff. I mean, I mean, last episode was all about I have no mouth and I must scream. And that wasn't even a tenth of the stuff I wanted to talk about. And when I'm actually able to get my ideas onto a, a list and discuss them, That kind of idea of having this be an an outlet for me to get my ideas out there felt selfish. I, it feels selfish. Kind of like a, hey, I'm so cool. I'm so important. I'm so smart. Come listen to what I have to say. 
who am I? You know, I don't even have my first book out. And yeah, I'm getting it out. I plan on having it out within two months, which is insane to say. But who am I? You know? Who am I to you? I'm some random guy on the internet. And even then, I look at the views and they're nil, nothing. 40 is a huge number for me. Where it used to be five views every podcast or zero for a lot of them. And so I should be happy that there's growth and I should be happy. And I should, I should be happy. And I'm not. That's why I want to talk about expectations. I have this thing where whenever something good happens, I get I get really sad. And I don't know why. Rarely when something bad happens do I get sad. Rarely. I remember this one time I was driving home from work and I worked the overnight shift, so I was very sleep deprived. I... It was before I really figured out how to manage my sleep schedule. And I was very tired driving home. It's my old truck. And I start dozing off. Not even halfway home. It's a 30 minute drive. So I have 20 more minutes of nodding off on a busy highway. And this is when I learned not to do that. I'm, I'm, maybe five minutes from my home. I, I've made it this far. I've punched myself in the leg, biting my tongue, yelling at myself, screaming at myself, smacking myself in the face the whole nine. And I'm passing what had to be 20-some construction workers, actual people with lives and families and dreams and ambitions and are just working to get a paycheck and probably have kids at home that wanted to that wanted to see them when they got there and wives that wanted to make them food or they were they were sad and they were trying to get their lives together and they're like coping addicts like these were actual people with fucking lives and if it wasn't for the barricade they would have been gone I doze off and what I assume happened was I was drifting to the right a little bit. It wasn't like a heavy curve. It was, it was one of those like gentle glide and the barricade to the side was very close to the street to begin with, but there was this little part that jetted out. And so you had to do this like quick little swerve to avoid it and get into the new right lane. And I was asleep. So I hit that with my front tire and I wake up and I'm looking at the sky and I slam back down and only my right tire popped. And then I, I had to go deal with that. I drove off and it was, I was in, I was about to be my town. So I wasn't too far off. And I, 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 it was a whole thing, but I was totally calm the entire time. It, It was, it was an extra five hours, an extra 300 bucks, an extra pain in the ass and I never really got sad about it. It was just something to fix. It was just something to deal with. It was something to laugh about. And, and you know, I, I got 40, I think we're, we're at like 40 some views, 46 views for episode 21 of the, of Eat the Blank page, what you're listening to and on YouTube. And it's the most views for a podcast that I've gotten. And so at first when I saw the number, I was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. But then I just got sad. I got really down for no reason. I put out like 15 episodes that got zero views for like four weeks, five weeks. And I was always like fire ready. Let's go. I'm going to try even harder. I'm going to work even harder. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And I get something that's not even successful on anyone else's metric. And I know 
the whole comparisons to FIFA Joy, whatever. But that's not the point. The point is, I did good. I did good. And I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to get the whole in my head thing with Oh, like you should be at like a hundred views. You should be at like a hundred thousand views. Even if you were at a hundred thousand views every episode, you wouldn't be a successful podcast. And those thoughts, like they 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 pile up, you know? And it just it gets hard sometimes where I don't know why I'm not happy. You know? I don't know why success makes me feel so down. And I, I don't know. I've I've always had it even in like physical stuff, like the gym, right? I used to throw discus. Uh, in high school, I used to throw discus. And there was one day I had a very, and I mean a very tough workout. It was me by myself. I carried about 50 pounds of equipment, uh, a mile and a half in the middle of summer, tank top, no water, because I'm an idiot. Oh, I was an idiot. Still kind of am. And I am out there for three hours from noon to 3 p.m. Practicing this one spin. And the whole thing was like four different sets of 20 throws. And then every four throws, I had to go out and retrieve the actual implements. (laughs) And I get done, right? I make it through the actual workout. And it was tough as hell. And... I um I didn't I thought I was gonna pass out. I thought I was gonna die. Because if I had passed out, there's no one else out there. It was a scorching pavement I was practicing on. It was a hot day. I didn't I didn't have like a car or anything because I was walking and I was exhausted. No water, no food, no snacks, no nothing. Nothing. And you know, I make it through. Tough as hell. And I say to myself, easy, I could have done more. So I've I've had this thing my whole life where once I do something, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how long it took, no matter how anything, I'm always telling myself, I could have done more. Easy. That was an easy thing because I did it. Because I actually completed it, it was easy. I don't know what that says about me. It's always been a thing. Always something to deal with, too. You know, I a lot of my work ethic comes off of spite. You know, I want to do good in spite of something. I want to do good in spite of someone else. But in turn, now I'm working hard for the thing that I don't want to control me. It's just, it's just one of those things. I think it's just one of those things I have to deal with. But you know, I don't want to. <laughs> I'd rather just be happy. I don't actually, I don't think that's true. I think I would rather struggle and work on something. I would rather train for something. I would rather grind for something. And if I don't have a goal, I can't work for anything. So I set some goals for myself right now for uh eat the blank page specifically um my goal is a thousand subscribers which is a lot but we're doing better you know the thumbnails are coming along good workflows good videos uh the bite size videos and the shorts are good uh, they're doing a little bit better. Uh, I'm experimenting right now, and so they should be doing better soon, hopefully. Victor Stories is at. Uh, I want to. I want to get to 100,000 subscribers. I'm at 68. I, whatever, you know. I feel like if I get one video that really like, goes, uh, it should be all good. But you know, it's more wishful thinking than anything else. But that's what I'm. I want to talk about expectations. I expect certain things. I. I come to expect certain things out of myself. I, I've taken a year and four or five months on a book. 
And that might not sound like a lot of time considering that some people spend years on books, but I wanted to have this thing done by last November, last December. So like a few months ago and you know, I, I couldn't make that happen. I am told I'm doing really good and I'm told by my beta readers that it's coming out very well, but I, I have a hard time believing that. And I just, I just want to be honest with you guys, you know, I don't have a lot of you guys to actually be honest with. And I understand that. I do wish there were, I wish myself to be more successful, of course, everyone wants to be doing better but I'm just trying not to be selfish I guess I'm trying not to be oh why, why, why am I not why am I not doing better because I feel like I'm doing great you know I just have to keep up the actual work of it which I enjoy the actual work of it a lot. I, I I enjoy doing this a lot. And I I hope I can actually get some uh, even there. I like I'm I'm thinking about the clips that I'm gonna make from this. I'm thinking about the segments of this story. I'm I'm beating myself up currently about not keeping a straight, continuous line of dialogue that I can fit into a short and it's pissing me off. I guess it shouldn't, you know, it is part of the workflow, but I do, I do enjoy doing this though. Podcast. I mean, I just want to start making it more of what it can be, what it is, what I want it to be, but I need to define to myself what I want it to be. In the, in the beginning, we were doing a lot of page eater prompts, which I thought was a great idea, uh, where I gave out an idea to the community and they would give it back. I just didn't have any community and I still kind of don't have a community. I like, I'm very, very grateful for you guys that have actually taken the time to subscribe and watch the videos and everything. But I was, I was batting out of my league. I, I was, I don't, I don't know a good saying for this, but I was doing things that weren't for my size of channel. Like, like I still, I feel like I barely get across the point that this is a podcast for people who like to write, who people, people who like stories, people who like diving into things. And, you know, where are we at? We're at 24 minutes of me just talking about how I'm kind of sad. But expectations can be a lot, especially when you put them onto yourself. Like expectations for this book that's about to come out, uh, for my book that's about to come out, is just immense. The weight of the world, really. And I want to put out at least 50 books in my lifetime. So why is the first one so important? I get caught up a lot of the time in thinking that the first step, this first book, is everything. Where is it on my where is it on my board? Okay, I think I think I, I erased it at some point. I have a board up here. It said the first step is not the end of the journey. And so I just I, I'm trying to keep that in mind where it's like I just need to get this first one out. I just need to get this first one out. I need to go through the process. I need to understand the process. And then I'm gonna be able to refine it, get it down packed. I wanna get two books out a year, do this for twenty five years, that kind of thing. I wanna do eventually be able to get three books out a year, which would be awesome, but I want them to be good. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to two a year, a six month work cycle work cycle for each book, that kind of thing. Um, I already have a lot planned out. So for the next few years, I'm already kind of booked up on book ideas, which you guys are going to be really excited for. I just need, I just need to get this first one out. So the expectations put onto this are so just, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen at all. Maybe tomorrow, my day three of 30, getting a hundred thousand followers on TikTok blows up and I get 
two million followers, and now all everyone's eyes are on me, and the podcast blows up tomorrow based off of a random short that I made that goes viral, and I get like 100,000 followers from here, and this starts picking up, and this starts making money, and I can quit my day job, and I can do this full-time, and I can write full-time, and I can really follow my dreams there, or nothing. Nothing. I I put out the book, I continue with the podcast, I continue with these videos, and nothing happens. I need to be prepared for both for both realities. So I, I guess expectation really is being comfortable with the possibility of every possibility. The picking what possibility you want, right? You're, you're expecting something. You have hopes for something. You've put in work into something and you expect that work to come back to you in equal, in full return kind of thing. And I have hopes for, I have hopes for the book. I have hopes for the podcast. I have hopes for my work as a person. But like I said, I need to be ready for anything. And accept that just as likely as it is that everything goes crazy, blows up, I become a new face of a brand or whatever the fuck. I, I, I become super famous, well-known. Everyone buys my books. Everyone loves my books. Everyone loves my stories. I, I speak at conferences. I go to community events. I, I form I form like a publishing house or a, a content, whatever, like something. Like just the most absolute best case scenarios for everything for everything i need to be equally accepting that nothing is going to come from any of this i can't accept that though you know i can't accept that reality i guess i have too much pride or too much ambition or just enough to where I have my eyes set on a goal that I need to refine, of course, but I can't accept that nothing's going to happen. I can't accept that all of this is for naught because it's what I want to do. I want to have a platform where I can go and talk about the things that I want to talk about, dive into the ideas and, and have a space where I can talk about the things that I used to get picked on about the, the things that people used to laugh at me about Victor why are you thinking so deeply about this Victor no one else talks about this stuff we don't want to talk to you I want this to be that space where I can put out those ideas where I can talk deeply about these things and while I don't think they're special thoughts some people do and hopefully I can find enough of those people that enjoy listening to my ramblings and my insights and can glean some sort of value, whether it be entertainment, whether it be some new way of thinking about something. Hopefully I can find enough of you guys to actually support myself, to put more of myself into this, give this more of my day, more of my attention. And that's all I really want. You know, does that make me special? No. <laughs> does that make me worthy of any success? Absolutely not. But, you know, I just, I want to say it. That's my podcast. So there it is. You know, this feels like a good stopping point. I did want to talk about expectations and stories and how character arcs work and all that stuff, but... You know, maybe this was just a, uh, maybe this was just a real breath of fresh air for myself to kind of put a lot of thoughts out there and maybe I can, I can connect with, uh, one or two of you. I hope everyone had a wonderful day today and I hope you continue to have a wonderful day or night. 
I hope that I made your day just a little bit better. And don't forget to share the podcast with as many people as you can. Or care to. Or just leave. I mean, you made it this far. You might as well help me out a little bit. <laughs> like you owe me something. Uh, you don't. Just to be clear, you don't owe me anything. But I don't know. Just a funny thought. Um, that's it for this episode of Eat the Blank Page. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone had a wonderful time. And I made your day just a little bit better. Have a good one. Goodbye.